those are all my ideas. <clears throat> that is, that's a that's a packed show. That's exciting times. Yeah, we'll see how many we can stick to. Okay. Um, and look, honestly, no pressure if we don't stick to anything. Right. Because I'm still figuring out what's what's what this is all. Oh about yeah, no, we can well. keep this organic. Yeah. Yeah, like like backyard grown weed, as opposed to you know stuff with a lot of chemicals in it, which can give you a headache. Right. Yeah. Look out for that, kids. Don't. You be very careful. Yeah, that's yeah. good advice already, Mozza. Yeah. I mean, I was saying last week because you're a father and I'm becoming a father in this September. Is what, yeah, this is it's first... a bit of a mature kind of dad show. Oh, so mature, Dad. Yeah. We we um we have to step up our game now that we're we're, we're but you're going to be a dad. I'm already a dad. It's probably time we just grew up and just uh, in, became sages imparting advice. You know, it's not all shits and giggles anymore. It's not all just fun times. It's not all just like submarining cans and, you know, throwing them at kebab shop windows. That's not on anymore. Right. And that's what I kind of thought. I was like, look, everyone, we don't want to, we don't want the show to become fucking condescending or patronizing. No. But, you know, I'm 32. You're, you're 42. Yep. Moz. I'm and, you 44. Know, you're 44. I'm an old man. Get fucked. When yeah. did you turn 44? Uh, on my last birthday. See, this is why we need to catch up more. Exactly. On your last birthday, you turned 44. Yeah, I'm basically Yoda now. Fuck, yeah. I'm like, I'm like Yoda right at the end. You know, at the beginning of Return of the Jedi, well, sort of second act-ish, and he, he kind of, he just disappears. The Force just takes him. He, like, crumples up. The whole puppet just falls in on itself. Yeah, yeah. Right after, you know, there is another Skywalker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's where I'm heading. Yeah, which I think is fine. That's, that's what we're talking about. That's, that's quite organic. Yeah. To the show, you know, like there's not many social networks out there that are like, we want more middle aged men on the platform. No. Like it's not kind of on the agenda. No. But uh, I think it's good. So yeah. you're fucking, you know, you're getting out. Oh, yeah. I'm out of the house. Yeah. And yeah. you're on the internet. Not reckon that's fucking sweet, mate. So. Thank you. It's good to be here. Yeah, that's good shit. And if it turns into like a bit of a dad show and we're like, well, what you want to be careful of is this in life, then. You know, just stick with us, everyone. We're still pretty cool. Uh, yeah, well, you're fairly cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I lost my cool some time ago. But you don't give a fuck. No, I don't. This is the thing. So you're cool again. Yeah, exactly. No, I, I, I give. I don't give a lot of shits. Um, I wouldn't say zero. I'd say one shit per day is what I get, which is healthy. Yeah. It's good to keep your bowels moving. But I'll let myself. I'll let myself give a shit once a day, and I, that's me done. But I won't. I won't, I won't give shit, like multiple shits over the course of a day because that'll tire you out. Right. And I'm getting old now. I'm the kind of man who needs a nana nap in the middle of the day. Uh, you know, I'll need, uh, I'll need snack breaks. I'll need to pace myself. Right. Yeah, so if you're constantly just giving shits, particularly, particularly online, right? Everyone's fired up. Everyone's outraged. Everyone's buying into debates and discussions and just getting you know, trolling and arguing. Oh, yeah. Nah, nah. I've got no time. Nah. I've got, well, the thing is, I've got a lot of time, but I'm I'm very I'm hoarding that time, like like a dragon with local currencies. You're more selective yeah. with your time yeah, exactly. as you get a bit older. That's something I found as I shifted into my thirties. I was like, you know, I could say yes to this, I could say yes to that, but it's going to take up time. Yeah. And time is running out all the time. I mean, you, yeah, you still got lots of it, yeah. as you say. But yeah, you gotta be selective with it. And you're not selective with it when you're younger. You're like, nah. oh yeah, here's my time. Who wants my time? Do you want my time? Yeah. And you're just like fucking like this with your time. You're, throwing, you're making it rain with time. And yeah, I've got so much time. Yeah, as if time is an unlimited resource. And it's not. It's not, no, no. And uh, you know, I take laziness very seriously. Okay. You, know, you need a lot of time to do fuck all properly. Yeah. You know, because some people try to squeeze in their fuck all between periods of busyness and activity, you know? And they're like, I'll take 15 minutes out here for some fuck all. It's like, no, if you're truly doing fuck all, commit to it from the moment you get out of bed, or more importantly, don't get out. Just just set the day aside for doing it. Right, that. that's good. Yeah. I'm trying to do, I mean, I'm trying to do that with my weekends. Because it's like, yeah, I'm doing doing my Aussie Manning and, and me commentaries and all me random shit and, and me live show now. And I'm like, I, I still need some time to do fuck all. Exactly. And yeah, you don't want to just be going, trying to grab fuck all in little increments. Because you're having a baby soon. When is the baby due? September. September. See, once the baby comes, the, see, babies and children in general are a time thief. They will steal your fuck all. 
They'll steal all your funk all. They, they are like, they're like a mate on the gear, they're like a mate with a serious drug problem, but, but their drug is time. They just want it from you all the time. Okay. Yeah, they're like that mate knocking on the front door at 3 a.m., going, just help me out this last time. Yeah. I just need some time. Yeah. I just need your time and attention. Yeah, just let me in. Let's chuck something on the TV or sit on the couch. Let's get a late night pizza. Let's just fucking stay yeah. up and watch music videos. Yeah. 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 I don't know about that anymore. Yeah, yeah. And once you have a kid, and that kid is the mate you can never turn to and say, well, we did this yesterday. Right. You know, where's the boundary? There's no boundary. Kids you don't have them. Well, yeah, they need you. They, they, need they genuinely you. need you. And that is terrifying. It's not like a, it's not like a neediness that's like, no. oh, you're getting a bit needy. They no, need it's you. not an emotional neediness. It's a biological neediness. Right. Like, like if you abandon them, they will literally die. Right. They just stop working. Fuck. If you just, if you just put it in a car park, no good. No. Fuck, all right. Well, yeah, but it's fun. No, I mean, it's good sure, times. Yeah. It's yeah, good times. Surely it's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. You look forward to all that. How many kids? you got two kids now. I've got two kids. Yep. Yep. I, uh, my, my daughter's nearly 18. Yeah, and, right. And my son's just over two because I'm a master of timing. Uh, yeah, 16 year difference there. Yeah, a little silly. You had a bit of fuck all time in between. I had some fuck all time in between. Get some fuck all time between these kids. Exactly. I see what you did. Exactly. Yeah, no, you got to pace it out. Yep. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'll... The scary thing is, the year my boy turns 18, I'll be 60. That's yeah, right. horrifying. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. But I'm looking forward to 60. I'm, you are? I'm, I'm so excited about getting old. Okay. I'm going to be one of those grumpy, miserable... Just, There's just zero accountability. Right. You know, I'm going to say whatever I like, whenever I like. You know, drive like an idiot. Yep. Um, wear whatever I want. Yep. Um, you know, go out of the house naked a lot. Yeah. Stand in the front yard naked late at night. Nice. Gonna do a lot of that. I think it's good, you know, like, yeah, aging. I don't get too afraid of it. And and I like the idea of being old as well. It's like I'm saving hobbies. I'm like, yeah. you know, I don't want to know about gardens and things like that at the moment. I want to save gardening. Yeah. But when I'm like over 50 and over 60, I know it's a cliche. Yeah. It's like an uh, old guy looking after his lawn. Yeah. But... I'm just saving the hobby, and well, I'm not. I'm not necessarily um, afraid of it. I'm like, you know what? That's going to be a good time. I can just, yeah, yeah. Work, work on me gardening and do me old man hobbies, and and yeah, stand out the front in a dressing gown naked, whatever. Like, well, it's, it's, this yeah. is science. Once a man turns fifty-four years old, that's when he gets very protective of his lawn. You, know, you kids get off my lawn. That's that's the time. It's right. the time of life. It's like male menopause. That's when the switch hits. Okay. And suddenly, a man's lawn becomes the most precious possession in his life. Right. Yeah. So you will want to be taken care of it. You'll be guarding it. Where the fuck did you read that? Oh, probably on the internet. You reckon it was on the internet? I don't know. Yeah. Should have been. (laughs) 